Well, good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Langlois. An investigation is underway after an attempted homicide led to a standoff in Tioga County. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead was on scene early this morning and has the latest now. Anya? Chris, that standoff ended with the suspect being killed after he shot and injured a state trooper. That led to a 14 hour standoff, and residents nearby were very concerned. After more than 14 hours, police were still on scene after an attempted homicide that led to a standoff in Nelson Township during a welfare check on Tuesday. One state trooper was shot, and another injured his leg. Apparently, one of the troopers has been shot. This left people in nearby Elkland shocked. Uh, super scary. Things like this usually don't happen around here. I mean, we're a small town. You know, everyone knows everyone else. It, it's scary. It's a crazy world. So, you know, things happen. It's unfortunate for the police department and the state trooper. You know, they go into a lot of crazy situations. Dozens of state police were on scene from Tuesday afternoon into early Wednesday morning. Deanna Sherman is devastated for the trooper who was injured. It was it was horrible. I felt so horrible for him, for his family, you know, everything. And I'm just grateful that he's okay. Sherman is thankful for the police who kept the situation controlled and contained. Law enforcement is amazing. People, so many people, you know, disrespect them and and say horrible things about them. They don't understand. They put their lives on the line every day to protect us. Now, Chris, both police officers who were injured were are both in stable condition at this time. Now, we'll have much more on this developing story on later editions of Eyewitness News. Live in Tioga County, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. Anya, thank you.